Hey guys and welcome back to the channel Platinum Bricks 95 We're back again with another review. What a surprise. Um, but we're carrying on today with our Spider-Man reviews. Uh, this is the last set I've got to review apart from the battle pack. But I'm going to do a video about all of the battle packs that have been released so far. So that will come. So today we're actually taking a look at Lego Marvel's Spider-Man Far From Home Hydro-Man attack set and it is set number 76129 and it's with 471 pieces and retailed for about £35 I think in England so that'd be like $40 in America but it was 35 quid in England now the story about this one is I didn't actually get this set this set wasn't bought by me this was actually a Christmas present from someone because it's a retired set it had gone up in price and the person actually paid £50 for that set, so £15 more than recommended retail price. I don't mind because I didn't pay the price for it, but someone bought this for me for 50 quid, and it's quite expensive, let's be honest. Also, just another side note, this was the actual first set from the new LEGO Marvel, not the ones that did the um, Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. Not those sets, but this is the first set with the new MJ. Now, I know since then there's been a couple of sets that have included MJ, but this is the first set that came with the new MJ. So anyway, guys, I've obviously babbled on for long enough now. Um, we'll get right into the review and we'll start with the minifigs. Let's get it. All right, guys, so here we are with the first three minifigs. Uh, I'm going to blast through the first one because if you've watched any of my... Uh, lego spider-man far from home reviews already you know what i think of this minifigure okay but the first one we'll be starting with is mysterio and as i've said a hundred times before he's a great minifigure but the problem is he's in every single set and that is an issue because i understand he's the only bad guy in the movie but it becomes a real problem when i buy all three sets and i get this minifigure three times it's a bit annoying but as, as we know, it's a lovely set. If you haven't seen him already, it's very pretty. His torso's gorgeous. The back printing on his torso is very nice as well. And I'm a big fan of the colour of his cape. And he is very, very movie accurate. So I do have to give credit there. But yeah, as I've said before, the problem is he's been in every single set so far. Okay, guys. So on to the next minifigure. And this is MJ. And let's not lie about it let's just not lie about it it's not the greatest minifigure is it like it's quite accurate it doesn't really look like zendaya but it sort of does but sort of not and it's a pretty plain minifigure however as i stated at the start of the video um it is the first mj we've had in years and years and years so i'm not actually going to complain about it and i know we've had mj since and we've had new MJs, but this was the first one of the new Spider-Man movies and new Spider-Man sets to actually feature MJ. Now, if you want to have an actual look at her, it's just a uh, normal torso, really. Nice bit of printing on the front, plain black legs, uh, a little bit of printing on the back, and obviously a dual molded head. Um, I will say, actually, now that I'm seeing that, I would probably actually prefer MJ with that face, to be honest with you. Yeah, that looks much more like Zendaya now. Like, Zendaya much more, looks much more like that than the other face. But yeah, MJ, not terrible. I'm not going to complain about her. An okay minifigure. This minifigure could potentially be my favourite Spider-Man minifigure ever. I mean, look at it. It is brilliant. Firstly, let's start with the headpiece. I mean, that's just amazing, that headpiece. I mean, look at that. That's perfect. It's brilliant. It's done so well, designed so well. And I mean, look, it just does look like Peter Parker. And it does look like the scene from the movie where this is happening. And he does have to quickly pull his mask over and he's half dressed at the same time. Oh, get back in focus there. Yeah, all good. Um, but yeah really really accurate i mean the torso as you can see the spider shirt the spider-man suit underneath his shirt and his jacket uh, the headpiece and i mean yeah there's a little bit of printing on the back but i mean i'll allow the fact that there's no uh, no leg printing at all for just how amazing this headpiece is 
and how amazing this torso is. I mean, it really is something special. And also, again, I must stress, accurate to the movie. So I do like that. Also, I think he does have a dual molded head. Yeah, he does. And uh, that's probably a more accurate uh, depiction of him in the movie in this scene. So that is good. But yeah, I just think this is potentially the best Spider-Man figure I've ever seen. Apart from maybe the Iron Spider, this is probably the best one. I just love how realistic it is. And I love how they've managed to create that in Lego. I think that's an amazing, amazing thing. So yeah. An amazing minifigure definitely the best minifigure of the bunch okay now we are gonna get into the build now however there's sort of in case you can't see on the box see him we'll get into him now okay guys so the reason I actually um, waited to do this and waited to uh, show this minifigure off is mainly because it's actually part of the build of the set so that's why I waited to do him last but I'll show you the minifigure first this is hydro man I'll show you his minifigure now and first of all it might not be the most accurate minifigure in terms of the movie if I put a picture of uh, Hydro Man in the movie in now and as you can see it's not the most accurate but I mean how are you actually gonna capture that uh, the way Hydro Man looks in the movie in Lego form I think they haven't done it too bad to be fair but Going on to the minifigure, uh, a beautiful minifigure. Let's not let's not lie about it. It is beautiful. I mean, the torso printing, the face printing is gorgeous. Now, obviously, it doesn't have a dual molded head and it doesn't have printed legs, but the back printing is amazing. The back of his head is amazing. The color scheme is gorgeous as well. I love the use of three different blues to really bring out. The, the highlights of this minifigure and it's gorgeous. I mean, I love the color of his, the legs. I absolutely love the color of the headpiece. The actual color of the headpiece, the torso and the hands is gorgeous. And again, it's an amazing minifigure for something that played such a small role in the movie. But then again, I can't complain about it because we've been left with this beautiful thing. But I'll show you his build now and him on top of it. This is obviously meant to be him spinning in some sort of whirlpool or whirlwind in the like he does in the movie. It doesn't spin in case you wondered. It isn't, it isn't a spinning top or anything like that. It is just a build, sort of like a Christmas tree in the way it's shaped. But um, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of the fact that these aren't printed tiles. These are all stickers. All of these you are seeing that do have this on our stickers, unfortunately, which is a shame but it's not a terrible build till about here now this is where my issue is why have his torso don't get me wrong as you as i've already said it's a beautiful torso but why have it on display you surely sh it should just be his head at the top and that would look much more natural but i guess again it is marketed to children and as you can see it's seven plus so i guess they want the playability but that would be my only complaint about this whole build here is that his head should be the only thing sticking above the final sort of brick here. But I can't complain. It's an amazing part of the build and it's an amazing minifigure. Okay, guys, now we're going to get into the bulk of the build. Actually, first, we're going to take a look at this gondola. This is a little gondola, gondola because obviously this scene is based in, uh, where is it, Venice in the movie. So obviously the whole thing's filled with water, which is again why it's a Hydro Man set. And this is the little gondola build you get. And I won't lie, it's all right it's nothing special it's just okay and yeah it's just a nice little feature and a play feature for the set so yeah i just wanted to drop that in there before we get onto the big bit of the build all right here it comes all right guys here we are with the big bit of the build the bridge and the little cafe with the little seating area outside and this is where the river would be running through so first things first, I want to say I'm a huge fan of the style of this set. I mean, this little shop here, even though it's not fully built up, it's good enough to play with with minifigures. I mean, it's built to minifigure st scale, so it's gorgeous. I love that. I love the use of leaves up here. I'm a huge fan of this colour. I mean, it really is beautiful. I'm not going to complain about it. I love the lamppost. And I just love the general architecture and the style of the build. It's very nice. I, I will say that. And obviously, we've got the token 
spider's web because it's a spider-man set and you can't have a spider-man set without spider's web separate actually if i spin this around and you can get a look at the back you can actually see where some of this are baby so you've got a cheeky little sewer down here with a rat in and he's eating some pizza i'll get you in there to see in a minute but as you can see this is the back of the build and this is one of the play features which i won't demonstrate yet because i'm going to show you the build but i will demonstrate as we go on so this is the back of the build very nice now we go on to this side here so you can actually somewhat get a look inside the coffee shop that's what it looks like from the inside you've got a little coffee machine there and an open doorway very nice okay now we're going to get on to the play features so as i just showed you guys there is actually a button or a lever on the back of the um set that you just saw there uh, under the bridge now i'm going to press that and i'm going to see what happens bang so this actually has a ball joint on it underneath and you push it in and it pops the bridge off so that is one of the play features which are obviously it's a very common play feature but it's not a terrible play feature it's not bad you can't really moan at it you can't knock it it's not terrible and they are featured in most builds but it's a good play feature right now also here i don't know if you saw but there's a trap door here and this obviously operates that so it's like almost like an air earthquakes happening or hydro man's attacking or something so it does shake it doesn't that's a problem there okay we're looking at a bit of a problem here because it doesn't really you have to really push it to, to get it to pop right up but there we are i mean it's not a great play feature but they're the two main play features of the set so it's not too terrible also i did just want to show you this tile piece here which is all about mysterio this is an exclusive tile piece and it's very nice i love these tile pieces so i just wanted to show that to you guys so yeah i mean i'm gonna take you around just for a bit of a closer look now at the set so you can sort of see all the details and what's going on so i'll do that now okay guys i'm just giving you a little overview of the set now so you can sort of see what the set actually looks like a bit closer up a bit more of the detail this is what the bridge looks like from the top and then you've got over here this is the top of the tower some lovely detailing on the top of the tower there these are the uh, leaves i was referring to there's some flowers down there that's the little coffee table and obviously i'll get you a closer look inside the coffee house i mean it's not that impressive in there there is just literally a coffee machine here um but i did want to actually show you the uh inside of this sewer area which is actually going to be quite hard for me to get a good shot of but i'm going to try my best um yeah maybe not i might have to lift the set up so you can see there you go so there's the mouse and he has actually got a jewel in there and also some pizza all right guys all right guys so there was the review and look at this set we'll quickly jump out into the outro so i'll see you there all right guys well there was my review of lego marvel spider-man far from home 76129 hydro man attack set that's not a mouthful is it um but there was my review for it um i do want to say firstly about the pricing on this now as always if you're going to collect lego marvel or if you're a lego collector in general it, and Marvel's not your priority, I would stay away from this set. Yeah, you've got a cool, you've got the cool Peter Parker minifigure, but Mysterio comes with every other set. MJ's in a bunch of sets now. The Hydro Man's cool, but I mean, I wouldn't be looking to pay like £15 or $15, $20 more than you would at retail for this set. So that does let it down a bit. So I would say now, unless you're Marvel obsessed like I am, I would stay clear from this set which is a bit of a shame because it's not a bad set and it looks gorgeous like i can't stress it is a gorgeous looking set i love the fact that it's like it's got that definite italian feel to it and italian architecture and it's very nice and it does look venison but i can't justify you paying 15 pounds more than you would at the beginning unless you're an, a, a marvel collector like me so I've taken one for the team, but I didn't really take one for the team because someone in my family bought it for me. So I can't complain. So on a whole, I, I'm going to sort of bring a rating system in now. I've been thinking about bringing in a rating system for a while now. So I don't know whether to rate this set because then it's going to be the benchmark set for everything else. 
I think at retail, I would have given it a higher score. But I'm going to give this set... So I'm going to give this set a lower score than I would have originally. But, I mean, two minifigures out of four being very good. Two not so good. One's in every set. The gondola's not that impressive. And it looks pretty, but the play features aren't that good. They really aren't. And, you'll look, like I said, the markups are, you know, a third of the price. It's gone up a third of the price that it originally was. So I, I'm going to give this set, the state it is in now, I'm probably going to give this set a 5 out of 10, which I think is a good benchmark for future reviews I do and future sets I do. Yeah, I have just seen in the background, which you can't see, I have got a 4 plus set there, like these new 4 plus sets. That won't be getting a rating compared to these because 4 plus sets are marketed at younger audiences. So I'm not going to be giving them a rating, but all other sets will now, from now on, be getting a rating. So yeah, guys, that was the review for this set. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you stick around and watch a few more videos. But if you don't, you don't. It doesn't matter. Um, please check out my Instagram, which is down, down in the uh, description. That's where I take photos of all of my minifigures and all of my collection. And you can just sort of get a day-to-day -day update on my Lego collecting journey. Um, oh, before I do go, I do just want to let you know the next video is going to be documenting my entire Lego Marvel collection. So that's going to be a big video and it should be out either the day after this or the day after the day after this. So hopefully you'll stick around and watch that. Uh, hopefully you do. And yeah, guys. Please like and subscribe if you want to. If you don't, that's fine. And thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.